Welcome to lesson 19. In this episode I want to show you how to oversize a part. Let's draw a round tabletop, slightly odd shaped one. Let's make it 900 in diameter, 450 radius, 8 in high. And let's put a little bit of twist in it. Let's say it has a slight shape like that. Now let's make this out of MDF just for demonstration purposes. Okay, MDF, MDF, it's 18 millimeter thick and put uh, an assembly on it. Okay, now let's put this through analyzer and see what happens. Let's make a job number 333, order, work order 44. And let's run the geometry scripts. This is our part here. That's fine when you're going to nest this, but let's say we want to run it on the pod machine. We're going to have a slight problem here because uh, if we cut the panel exactly to the size and uh, we put it on a machine and there's a slight variation, you could end up with a couple of flat spots here, a couple here. And possibly these corners, you know, they're going to be uh, not that pointy. So really, we want to give this uh, an oversize. We want to cut that oversize on a on a beam saw, and then we run it on a pod machine uh, in the center of the panel. So to do that, let's go back to analyze a cam again. So what we can do here is in the power properties. In the power properties here and user one, we can give it an, uh, an oversize. So we type in oversize and we can give it a value here, let's say 20 millimeter, uh, that gives us uh, 10 millimeter all around oversize. We save this. Now, when we run in through analyzer, Now let's run the geometry script. So what happened here now is uh, it's done the panel oversize. Uh, the uh, geometry is not quite in the center, but don't worry about this. Uh, analyze a cam will take care of that. You will recognize the oversize command and will center it. So here in user one, we got our oversize of 20 there. So we can uh, just uh, run this through the translate scripts. So now let's import this in Analyzer Cam. Now let's select our part here. Work on the 44. And optimize it. See what it's done now? It's done an oversize here. So you can see that this part of the, the tool path is still inside the board here. So we don't end up with any flat spots. It's done those 10 millimeter oversize. It's actually a 10 millimeter cut. As you can see, the, the tool compensation runs, the tool path runs in the center right between the, the, the outline of the part and the, the board. And the other thing I'd like to point out, if you go back to analyze a cat, In the part properties here in user one, you can combine this with nest as well. So if you have a square part, uh, let's say it's a piece of corian or something like that, that you really want to run on a pod machine and you actually want to do a final cut uh, uh, all around it. So you can use the, 
the option nest as well. You can you can do that in combination with oversize. So it'll give you uh, give you that option too. And that's basically all to it. And uh, thanks for uh, watching.